So what's Big Red doing today? Well, he's working on the Firebird with the uh, the stupid 2.4. Anyhow, so I'm doing the intake gasket because it's leaking pressed on the back of the engine, and we all know that on 3.4 those gasket they're uh, they are not too good because the uh, the intake rubs against it and. Uh, yeah, it's even, uh, it should have been a uh, class action recall, but that's not what happened. It's aluminium on a, uh, on two steel heads, I think. I think it is, yeah. I think it's steel head. I don't know. Anyway, what happened is the, uh, the gasket gets pinched and it gets, it rubs, and that on top of the, uh, on top of the, uh, the, the, uh, Dex Cool coolant, which is, uh, it's a plasticizer, so it eats away plastic, so it doesn't help. Oh yeah, so it took uh, it took me an hour to get this thing. It's not it's not uh, easy because uh, yeah, limited room and the whole intake is were right on the knee. So, but that's good. That's really good. And yeah, I gotta clean that up because yeah, that's where the injector <laughs> injector is supposed to go. Yeah, I really, uh, really need to be careful and not get crap in there. Uh, there's no way I tried, but there's no way to clean that up before you take take off the intake. So uh, that's how I'm doing it. Gonna check uh, valve valve flash and all that that happy stuff. Well, I'll keep wrenching on it. So that's the uh, upper premium and that's the intake. So uh, that's the next part to go. And I'm seeing something I don't like here. And by the looks of it, uh, I need to take out the rocker covers to take out the intakes. Because, yeah, it seems to be right against it on the need. Which is kind of a pain, but, uh, yeah. At least it'll uh, allow me to get into this cover here and fix my uh, valve flash because uh, one of them is ticking. So, uh,. It's probably sticky, I don't know if it's hydraulic or solid in this engine, but it needs to be adjusted. Uh, yeah, I'll keep wrenching on it. So, look what I found. So someone's been in there before, as you can see. It's not even on, that's the brake booster, so no, war no wonder I, I had intermittent uh, booster failure or booster uh, inconsistency, let's call it that. And, uh, Right there, it's a uh, it's a big vacuum port. It's the one. Uh, so yeah, I'll take a few pictures. So we're we're in like Clinton. Yeah. So yeah, you see what I'm what I'm talking about with this piss poor design here. Intake goes into into it. So the thing I'm worried now, and I know I'm gonna have to do because. Uh, right here, I have to take out all the push rods because they go through the gasket. I'm pretty sure they go right through the gasket because with a design like this, this is <laughs> it. It really looks like it goes through. But now I'm uh, I'm at an intake now, so I should have removed this. But yeah, I don't worry about the numbers. Uh, there's two impulse coil on that. Yeah, I tried that first, but no, I got a uh, vacuum leak, something, uh, something in the matter, and I've got one side of the engine that ran hotter, because you can see all the per the polymer in the uh, in the oil, uh, like the side five W thirty. There's the uh, there's uh, there are polymers in there, and that's that's this quarter. This is when they burn off. So uh, one side was running hotter. I did a water bomb, so that helped a lot. Now the engine doesn't overheat, doesn't even go go close to overheating. So uh, now I'm at the intake. Uh, I'll take that off, and uh, we'll have a peek inside. We'll have a look at the gasket. If you're having an issue to get it unstuck because it's gonna here here you got uh, enough leverage, so it's gonna go up, but then it's still stuck at at the back here. So what you do, you lift it up a little bit here. You stick between the head and the intake right here. You can stick a screwdriver here, 
press it back down it's gonna create so it's gonna create a, a lever effect and gonna get it unstuck so now I'm gonna take it off and it's gonna come it's just sticky like this and there's nothing I tried putting a bolt here and then pulling on it but nah you need some leverage so just take a screwdriver or a pry bar in here and you can get it unstuck that's for a little tip okay so it's been done before and a wrong way at that see they cut it here which I think could have an issue with the with the oil or whatever so it's been done before and yeah I forgot to plug back the uh, to put a clamp on the uh, booster and they did a bad job at it enough for it to be bad again and yeah I'm gonna have to change my whole life to that because <laughs> It's quite a bit of press down, you see that's part of the gasket. It all came apart. It's all, it's all junk. That's for the gasket and that's the cheapo. Yeah, that's the, that's the cheap gasket without with all the metal in it. So, And the other one here. Mind you, it's probably right there. You see there's two ports on the head and uh, yeah that's where it was leaking the back of the engine or so I think so but if it's not that well I got room to look at it now because there's not much room in this car to uh, to see everything engine's been run on straight water at least once gotta remove all the crap in it and take runners. Another part of it. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. I really hate the design though. So I hold open like this. And it's got the uh, the boss here. I don't know if you see it, but yeah, there we go. You see this notch on the in the middle there that's what they did uh, this this in the uh, older engine it's been locked off it's like the 4.3 it helps uh, build higher torque at lower rpm and they got away with that because this is of course an encumbrance for uh, high rpm output being this is a car they uh, they decide to go away with it which which is perfectly fine but in the pickup they should have left it because that's what the, the uh, Pre 1995 uh, 4.3 uh, 1996 or 1995 4.3 was so good is uh, it got its maximum torque bit uh, roughly at two two thousand rpm so which is really good for a pickup truck but maybe not for a car yeah tripped on the button because this is tablet. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of a, a lot of gunk. Yeah, there's the port here. There's a port in here. Another one in here. I don't know where these go, but they probably for cooling. I'm gonna have to look at the intake. But yeah, that's what I have to work with and right now. This is compressed. This is. I'm looking at all the uh, all the lifters and they're all pretty tight. This one is a little loose. But yeah, so we're right down into the problem. Okay, so I cleaned everything up and I uh, put it back with the proper gaskets. Uh, but I had a problem because when I went to do the uh, cover valve. Because of the stupidity of this engine, uh, you have to take off the whole, uh, the whole upper plimion to get the, uh, to get to the uh, valve covers. So now uh, I can't do it because when I use the uh, red stuff gasket there, well, this stupid tube just blew up. So now I don't have any, and I have to go and uh, get some more, so I can put back the gasket on top of it and uh, call it done. Oh yeah, just another setback when you're uh, working with a used tube and it's been the 
the sand tube to bust like that. So I got the premium here and then that's when I went to put it on I uh, figured out uh, yeah I have to put back the valve covers first. So I might as well do the uh, valve lash and then uh, start over again.